Uh, good morning, it's a sunny morning here. It's uh, 57 degrees, uh, but temperature is increasing very rapidly. Probably going to be up in the mid 60s, low 70s today. So, what's that? About 20 degrees C. Uh, blue skies you can see. But this could be a short run, about 25 27 miles. Can we um, just go through the city of Salisbury, outskirts of it, and what they call the Riverside Drive? Uh, rather scenic, so I'll be doing um, some riding down there and doing some time walk. So this is really a, a sort of test run. Anyway, good morning to you all. Enjoy. It's on the exit uh, place to live at Stephen Chase. Old bendy roads here. Uh, still building houses. Have been for about 20 years. Winds from the north, but only about one or two knots, so not too bad. Wearing summer kit with a base layer on and sun cream, <laughs> or sunblock, should I say, because it's, it can be rather fierce and one doesn't wish to get sunburned. Here. This house has been here less than six months. And I suppose they knock out about a, a house every four to six weeks here. Uh, Messick's is the builder, it's a very good builder. Of course, if you're watching good old Blighty here, they build what they call stick houses here, so they're all wood basically. They build sort of cruising, fairly large ships that go up like the Mississippi and other rivers around here. Very busy place. Builds, turns them out about two a year. And they also build tugs. River, it's like a dock bar. Very modern, deals with young people. Excellent food, excellent service. This has been here about six months now, very effective. Solved a lot of problems with traffic build-up. And we're on our outskirts of city centre, or the old city centre, not much there now. Not the moment pop shops, cafes. The cycle lane here, but as you can see, slightly to the left is an old rumble strip. And if you go over that, my gosh, shakes your bones and your nuts. Did I just say that? Excuse me. A dedicated bike lane here on the right. You can also see there's lots of repair work done in it. Very bumpy, very stony, and unfortunately, most of it they left the rumble strip in. And if you hit that, like I said earlier, you tend to get zapped. This is a new part. Very nice. And this will take you right out on the outskirts. If you want to ride on Riverside Drive, probably about 10 miles out, I can either turn right at the top end of that and go across the ferry and go across the Wicomico River and do a different route. But this is a fairly sort of homely route today, about 27 miles. Very scenic, a lot of woods on the left and the right, but a busy route too. A lot of people live out here, this is more the 
affluent part of the city. And they're sort of like water edge properties or got a, like here there's big homes on the left and the rivers on the right. bridge down here when I go across. Across a weir. It sort of feeds into the, the main river. And this uh, the river here goes out to the ocean on the right at a 20 mile. And that takes you out of Chesapeake Bay. doing about 23 miles an hour here. It's a nice road. It would actually be better if the wind was behind us, but I don't know, ever plan these routes. I always seem, or well, 90% of the time, be going into the wind. But makes up for having no hills here. Just some slight rises in the road. That's about our furthest point that we go away from the actual city. We're about 11 miles out. So we're sort of making our way back slowly. Um, this will take us back through the University of Salisbury is. May stop it. I don't know, one of the coffee shops. Probably Dunkin' Donuts, because that's only about three miles from home. So I can use that as a wind down. But, uh, as you can see, lovely sunny day, lovely sunny morning. Going through all these little tree-lined roads. Quite an experience, really. Not just the beauty, but, you know, you're in the sunny part and you're warm. You go in the shady part and you're cold. Well, not literally cold, but you can certainly sense the change in temperature. Quite dramatic. A little bit like opening a fridge door and closing it and that little draft you get. So, quite nice. Now we come out to Walnut Tree Road, as you can see, at the stop sign, we're going to go left. Now it take us back into Salisbury Centre, once this car has passed. Let him go. Here we go. Quite a nice straight run. We have a little road, like a fork in the road. If I go right, that will add about eh, six, seven miles on. So I make it a 35 mile ride. Well, I'm actually going to go left. It's about three miles up here. And it's a nice run, nice segment. And you can normally get, there's no wind. It's well protected, tree lines on both sides. And it's about two and a half miles long. And you can get up to, probably 28, 32 miles an hour, but I can. There's probably others that can do 35, 36. 
Well, not bad for an old 67 year old out pedaling his bike. That's what you do in retirement. Experience the beauty of life. And it's in abundance here, it sure is. I'm originally from Wiltshire, England. Over in those Stonehenge, so close to there. A place called Devices. Out of there, Market Lambton, Ertzfont. And uh, I've been over here about 20 years now. And Eastern Shore, Maryland is very much like England. The weather's very much like, except it's flatter. Well, the Eastern Shore is the western side's got some mountains. And uh, you get the best of the weather. You get more of a summer here. Humidity gets a little bit yucky. But you learn to live with it. And of course, you can always step indoors and enjoy the air conditioning. We'll sit on the porch, put the panel fan on, and have a cup of tea with a nice choppy biscuit. Well, my favourite is rich tea, actually. Dunk the biscuit. That's the only the best way to eat a biscuit. Nice cup of tea, rich tea biscuit, or several, and dunk it. And of course, the art of dunking your rich tea biscuit in your tea is not to let it get too soft and soggy that it falls in the tea. So when I was growing up with my siblings, Derek, Lynn and Philip, um, that was always a competition between us. Of course the outer boys, me and Derek, would always win. And Lynn and Phil, I uh, uh, always used to get in trouble by my mum. Anyway. There's another wide junction here coming into Fruitland, which is connected to Salisbury. This is South Camden Avenue. Bit of a dodgy turning here. Clear to the right, off we go. And this is basically probably this bumpy bit here. We've got a new road that's been laid in the last month here. It's really nice. Get up some good speeds down here. And this takes us into the back end of Fruitland and then to Salisbury. Pretty nice. here is Salisbury University campus. This is the main campus. They obviously have some satellites. Good university. Got some excellent sports facilities too which were totally renovated very shortly. It looks like I'm not gonna run you over honestly. No no I've I've stopped now I've got to have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Gosh, it's a good excuse. Jolly good. <laughs> OK, 
Catholic Church. That's the school here. Exactly on the right, but you see on as we come out this red brick building. Here. And we're back to where this roundabout when we started off, if you remember. So we've done about 18 miles in the loop. See if these little wind maps work on my lights on the GoPro. I've got a total wind sleeve which I mostly use, so I'm just trying these little individual ones out. Strawberries up here. Marina. The only trouble is it's got a beautiful river, but to get to like the bay, it's, it takes you about four hours, five hours. Well, that's only if you do it five or six knots, of course. Got a faster boat, you get there. Stop it, Dougie Darren's here. <laughs> Have a coffee. Here we are. Duncan the Donuts. So we're not going to have a donut, otherwise it'll undo all the good work we've just done on the cycle. Not that that's the primary function of cycling. But here we are. Jolly good show. Bye, Gumlad. Let's stop things, shall we? Straight here. Steve will chase up ahead. A beautiful day on Delmarva. Anyone for tennis? Swimming pool opens another two weeks, I think. Gosh, if you're really warm, you can hop in the old pond here. I'm gonna hang a right here. Just get my righty hand out. And here we go. Yoo hoo! Oh, that's a bit bumpy. Home with the antelope roam. in the day to be sprinkling to evaporate Homely 
make it. <laughs> Fell off. That's not a good thing to do, is it? Right, 